Want to know how the wars were started? Where it all began? The fights, the beefs, the shootouts, the wars, the love, hate. How the rules were broken and forever changed the game. One click against an entire city. Five Star General. Buy yours on Amazon and Audible now. Hello world, my kings and queens. It's another beautiful day above ground. Another day for us to chase success. Find a way out of the game. Right? That's the whole mission. And I don't care what game you in. I don't care what street game you in. Chase success. If you chase money, that's the bait that they use to catch your little ass. So remember that. Before we go any farther, man, I got to give a shout out to the Lord, our Father, who uh, brought us here together. Thank you, Lord Father, for allowing us to come together in your name. Please forgive us for our sins and rebuke the devil evil doors and bad spirits that's against us and all. Continue to carry us as only you can. With you, all things are possible. Without you, nothing is. Please, Lord Father, guide us in the right direction so that we can be better people tomorrow than we was today. In Jesus' name, amen. Ironwood State Prison. Shout out to my homeboy, Tony B. Shout out to Daryl Sweat. Shout out to Greg. Shout out to big homie, Tank Bobo, Woo Bone, OG Jack Nasty, R. Louie, Fred Bo. Uh, what's up with it? OGs, these dudes, man, I learned from them all. They all was teachers for me, man. I was young in the game. Like I said, early 20s, 21, 22, when I was on the yard with them. Uh, they was... Six for nine, you know what I'm saying? So we was one car moving in one motion, baby. And it was on like Donkey Kong, baby. You know what I mean? So anyway, I want to tell you something, man, about when I hit this yard. When I hit the yard, they put me in the kitchen. I'm making eight cents an hour. Out that eight cents an hour I'm making, eight pennies, they taking 55%. So out of every dollar, I'm getting 45%. At the end of the month, when you get your check every 30 days, I have about $8 from the state. Maybe. Anyway. I'm in the kitchen. Now, the cooks in the kitchen is the ones who get who comes up on all the food, able to bring it back, slang it, and make money, get noodles, or whatever. Line servers got to kind of like fend for themselves, got to hurry up and grab stuff all the line after, after you know, when the, when the last building come in and the last person and stuff on the line, you got to hurry up and snatch that up type deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, the bottom of the barrel. So the cooks, because they're the cooks and they they the ones who making this stuff, they cooking extra eggs, but they hide it. A whole sheet pan, they hide it. Whole uh, uh, thing of meat, you know what I'm saying? They hide it. Then they give us, uh, you know, a couple of sandwiches. They might take back 10 sandwiches and they might give us one or two. You know, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Now that I'm there, I found a stash. I found a stash. Bam, I take it. Boop, I go hide it in my spot. Now they're looking for their stuff. They can't find their stuff. I done took a whole thing of eggs, whole thing of meat. You know what I'm saying? Now, what everybody's doing and we're making our sandwiches, they looking for their stuff. I'm over here making 20 sandwiches. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, first, the first time I did it, they ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? They started complaining to, to Jack Bobo, you know? And, uh, like I said, he was our general, you know what I'm saying, back then. And so, uh, he came in there every day. He had ice. He was an ice man. I forget how he was able, yard crew or something, but he was able to come up in here and fill up the things with ice. And that's when I give him the sandwiches, and then I get back, give me my couple of sandwiches, and then he, you know, have his sandwiches or whatever, and we, you know, get money, get paid, eat some sandwiches, you know, all that good stuff. One day come in there, they own him. All the cooks, Mexican, black, white, all of them. Others, 
They said, man, your homeboy, man, taking all the food, man. He ain't sharing, man. Woo woo man. Holla at your folks, man. Woo 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 woo. They pressed. Bam, I'm over there with him, sliding my son. He said, man, you got these people up in there hot. I said, what? Man, they just told me, man, you're taking all the eggs, you're taking all the meat, man. You ain't sharing nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm so, so, you know, he's my general. I'm like, well, so what you saying, man? He said, oh, I ain't saying shit, man. I'm just letting you know that they true. <laughs> hey, hey, put some sandwiches in there, boy. What are you, what are you talking about, boy? I ain't tripping. I'm just letting you know they tripping. Okay, well, damn, you know what I'm saying? It's all to me, baby. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, yeah, we're doing a thing, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm pushing a hard line. You know what I'm saying? I felt like B Yard had a lot of our scrubs. I was on B Yard. B Yard, man, we rolled up. Man, we rolled up people all the time. Amble on your ass, and you broke, and you come up with a dead. We rolling you up with a knife. Uh, 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 uh. You punk out. You go on some sucking shit, let motherfucker disrespect you. We tearing you up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Period, point blank. I don't even know. I've been knowing you since knee high to a donut. You know what I'm saying? You, If you know that you soft like that, don't come on the line. Don't come up here. You know what I'm saying? Or if you is, you know. You gotta play the game a whole kind of, it's a different way, you know what I'm saying, that you gotta play it. We'll protect you and guide you to help you get out because we know who you are. But if you acting like something that you ain't, then you out here gambling on your ass and all that kind of stuff, man, then we gotta do what we gotta do, man, you know what I'm saying, that's just the game, man. Bubble League, I'll come out the building, man, uh, 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 one day. Jack Nasty, man, this is to you, homeboy. And this is another thing, man, how do y'all feel, man, after we done been in prison like this, Pushing a dago line like this for years, and then hit the hit the compound, and it's segregated, and we fall back into the fold. I don't know how y'all felt, man, but I got to tell you, homie, my big homies, I felt like shit. I didn't like it. It wasn't cool. It, it wasn't cool, man. It wasn't cool. And for that reason alone, man, one day, one day. Especially if it's still like that in the system. I ain't been in over 10 years. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. But still, if it's like that now, man, and we ain't, come on, man. Shit, that's all I'm saying. But anyway, you know, I, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm just now starting to talk about it. I know I'm fresh in this game and whatnot, you know what I mean? So anyway, on to the next story, man. I come out to the wave pal. Now, when you're on the wave pal, uh, mandatory buffing. When you in our car, it's mandatory buffing. Uh, man, I come out to the way, pal, man. Now, this time, man, I, I'm looking in the mirror, man. I think I'm going bald, right? I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm saying, nah, it, it's just me, man. You tripping, right? But then you say, okay. You say, okay, let me grow my hair, and let's go from there and see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I can, uh, you know, figure it out. I come out to the way, pal, Jack Nasty say, G boy. I said, what's up, big homie? He said, blah. Two years? I said, yeah. He said, yo shit? I said, yeah. Back here. <laughs> And now I'm, I'm, I'm humiliated, cause now I know, nah man, you're not able to hide that shit. <laughs> it, it's in your mind, man. They can see it, you can see it, it's there. Cut it. And so I went right to sell man, the next in line. Got that shit off, man. And I want to tell you, big homie, boy, you could have let me down a little easier than that. You hurt my fucking feelings bad, man. I was just, you know, our hair been losing your head, man. That shit hurts, man. I could I can't tell you a pain that hurt me right here more than looking in the mirror, seeing my head standing, man. At 22! Now don't let's let, let, let forget that. 22! Too young, man. I thought I was the flyest damn thing running around. Anyway. This story is a shout out to my big homeboy named J Dog. Long Beach Crip. He is from Rolling Twenties Crips. Uh, shout out to Snoop Dogg, man. He always talked about you and gave you a lot of props on really being 
a real crip. So because of him is why I listen to you. I listened to you before, but I continue to listen. Definitely because of Jake Dog. Ain't no doubt about it. Jake Dog. Now, he was a, he got life. I hope he's still alive, man. I hope he got out, man. You know what I'm saying? If he out, man, bro, thank God, man. And if you're not, man, I still love you, man. Shout out to you and yours, man. I hope your family and everybody good, homie. Now, what me and him used to do, he's the, he was the general. And he was the line pusher. So, that's my goal, man. Since I was a baby, general. I knew my role, I knew my position. So it's important for me to be around other genera generals, man, so that I can soak up guys. I wouldn't give a damn where you're from, man. That just don't matter to me. Man. I understand that we just born in different area codes, in different zip codes, you know what I'm saying? But we the same, you know what I mean? So anyway, they was on the yard, on D yard, because they got down with the Dago blood car on A yard, right? Tank Bubble, Jack Nasty, Woo Bone, uh, 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 some other homies I forget, but yeah, it was quite a few homies over there. And uh, 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 Jack Nasty, Long Beach car ain't no head ups. You fight one, you fight them all. They all come. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't, ain't no bullshit. I'm talking, even if you fight one right now, tonight, tomorrow, they all coming, man. And they're going to be in the hole with their homeboy. Their homeboy is sitting in the hole knowing that his homeboy is in route. I, I'm, I'm promised. So Jack Nasty get down. I think they, they jumped Jack. So Woo Bone and Tank Bobo the next day, they had their shit rolled up, man. As soon as they went to child, boom, it was on. The bells rung. Them Long Beach cars. Both cars knew what was happening. Knew what was happening immediately. Now we all on the D yard together. They don't even separate. They, don't even, they sent all. They sent some of the Long Beach cars to different uh, different yards, but the majority of them was on the, on the D yard. The same one that was in the business is what I'm saying. Anyway, J Dog took a liking to the game. We would walk on the track, smoke a cap, talk about. It. I wanted to know, you know, little things, man, that, you know what I'm saying, in case I ran a car on how to run a car. And why? You know what I'm saying? Why did he, why, why is they car like Why do y'all do that? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And uh, like I said, he gave me a lot of wisdom, man. You know what I'm saying? He's a lifer, man. At that time, he had been down 20 years, man. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, never think the thing got game, man. So, if y'all run across them lifers in the pen, man, sit down with them, man. Play some chess, man. They got a lot of wisdom for you, a lot of game, man, for you to retain and take and get to the next person, man. So, with that being said, man, hey, look here. Read this, baby. Hey, Muslims, they whole book is based off this book. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, man. They was killing us and hanging us for reading this book. Because this book possesses power. With this book, if you can retain the information and comprehend what is given to you, stratosphere, man. Stratosphere, man. I'm stopping you, man. Because you got the power. Especially if you're keeping it real. Oh, God, don't like ugly, man. Don't pay. Hey, pick this up, man. If you repping that Zoo Nation, the, the, the Zooligan tribe. Pick that up. That's from your boy. Packed with stories. You know what I'm saying? From Juvenile Hall to uh, uh, CYA. Hey, hey, and on the streets. You know what I'm saying? So like I say, that's where it's at. Don't forget to pick this up. Written by my homeboy. Written by my other homeboy. Last but not least, man. My little homeboy sitting on the rope. Check his story out, man. Read that book. It has a lot of information that can help to empower you, bro. Okay? With that being said, read your Bible, talk to God, man. Peace.